Hi everyone, my name is Cindy Jatul and I'm a biology and biotech teacher at Roosevelt High School. I am going to be guiding you through this PowerPoint on helping to identify stakeholders who have a relationship to the orca populations of the Sailor Sea. So I'm going to shrink myself down here to the corner and we're going to move into this PowerPoint. Just a quick reminder that um, Ms. Wilson has already gone through the tips on how to use these various PowerPoints. Uh, she went through this in the um, Gathering Your Initial Ideas PowerPoint. So we're going to move on into our topic right now, um, uh, which relates to figuring out who are the stakeholders and um, understanding what their relationships are with orca populations. Here are our goals, which are very straightforward. <laughs> you are tasked with identifying several different stakeholders who have an interest in the orca population, and you're going to want to describe how at least two of these stakeholder groups are connected to the orca and what their concerns and priorities are. Here's an overview of the four articles that you get to choose from, and we're going to go through each one very briefly. But as you can see, we've got one from the Smithsonian, an article from the Seattle Times, The Guardian, and also a policy statement put out by the governor's office. So let's take a look at each one of these, starting with the article that was published in the Smithsonian. Here is the Smithsonian article published in July 2018, which documents um, the problem with the loss of um, salmon populations and with the decline in salmon populations, we have seen a 30-year low in the number of um, orcas that live in the Sailor Sea. The second article you can choose from is this one that is published in the Seattle Times that goes over a bill that was signed by Governor Inslee. This article goes over the bill that Inslee signed back in May of last year detailing various measures to try to um, save the orca population. The article that you could choose to read is called This Land is Your Land, and it was published in The Guardian. And let's take a quick look at that one. This article is also from last spring, April 2019, and it takes a look at the action that the Lummi Nation decided to undertake in response to their great concerns about the loss of orca populations related to them not having enough Chinook salmon to eat. And they decided one thing that they could try to do was to provide salmon for the orca to eat. Uh, so this article looks at their response as well as some evaluation of, of whether or not such, a, such an action could actually be helpful to the overall orca population. The fourth article that we have for you is the um, policy statement put out by our state with methods to try to keep the southern resident orcas population sustainable. Let's take a quick look at that. In this article, you'll find um, the proposal that the governor has put out to spend $1.1 billion in various ways to uh, save the orcas of Sailor Sea. So if we take a look down here, we can see how, how drastic the fall in their population has been recently. And we have an overall list of the various proposals that are being put forth in order to save the orcas, um, which involves increasing the, the number of salmon that are available, their main uh, source of food, 
decreasing the disturbance caused by boat traffic and noise, um, reducing toxins and pollution in the sound, which are greatly harmful to the orca, and making sure that there's adequate funding in order to do all of these things to protect this population. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the four articles that are available to you. And once again, uh, you have a copy of this stakeholder article note sheet available to you. And it's highly recommended that you use this as you go through these to collect your notes. In terms of identifying stakeholders who have a concern and connection to the ORCA, I'm going to put in a personal note here that I hope that you will consider thinking about the First Nations people in this area um, who have a very, very long relationship with the orca and the orca being dependent on salmon. We should take a look at what various First Nations people are saying about how to best support orca populations. So um, in that regard, the Nez Pierce, Yakima, Umatilla, Warm Springs, Shoshone Bannock tribes all have come together and taken a look at the impacts of the Snake River dams on salmon populations. And you may or may not be aware of the fact that these nations have called for the removal of dams in order to um, help the salmon populations because the dams are greatly impeding to salmon being able to get where they need to go in order to reproduce. Um, so removal of these dams would greatly help the salmon populations which would provide more food for the orca. So this is a group that should be considered when we're talking about stakeholders. To wrap things up, the main idea now is to read some articles, figure out who the stakeholders are, and um, it would be good if you could contact somebody else either in your household or a friend, and describe some of the things that you've learned, because in doing that, that will help make you understand it a little better. Um, add your, add your um, ideas to your note sheet, as we've talked about. There is an additional article in the collection that's called The Hostile waters that it, um, appeared in the Seattle Times a while back that has a very good overview of all the issues relating to the problems with the decline of the orca populations, as well as ideas about how to solve the issue. Okay, and then the final thing we recommend is going back to your learning tracking tool and adding this particular lesson to that format. Okay, that's it for this PowerPoint presentation. Thanks for your attention, and I hope that you get a lot out of reading the articles. Um, you only need to read two. It'd be fantastic if you read four. The orcas are an incredible animal, a really important part of our ecosystem here at the, the edge of the Salish Sea. So read those articles, get a lot out of them, and see you next time.